Dr. Pearl LaPerla, world famous biological immunologist. She is dark field blood microscopist. She does live blood cell analysis and she is one of the utmost in America. So we brought her in today to do this test. Thank you too, Dr. LaPerla, for coming into the studio. Um, we're going to ask Josh to come in and give us a drop of his blood. We've taken somebody from the audience here. We've chosen Josh to come in. And if you'll just sit down there, Josh, Dr. LaPerla, uh, you can tell us what's going on in the meantime, what are we All actually right. seeing and, and why we are doing blood analysis to see this. Well, the live blood shows us many things, not only uh, hydration, genuine hydration. You know, people drink water, but they don't particularly become hydrated with it um, because the water uh, is insufficient for that. But also we can see in live blood the um, effects of our diet and of our environment, environmental toxins. And of course we can see many other things like the bacteria, the viral and the fungal phases that tend to develop heavy metals and um, exposure to different drugs and prescription items can be seen in the live blood as well. So you've got the blood on the, on the um, yes, slate Yes, we there. do. So what we're looking at, we do see exactly what you called a rouleau situation. That means when the red blood cells are stacked much like a roll of coins. And you'll see that instead of red blood cells moving individually, we end up seeing this rouleau, uh, you know, they're moving en masse, they're attempting to move en masse, but why are they stuck together? You know, the, the uh, excess proteins, over-proteinization that occurs in the body, uh, lack of hydration, causes the cells to lose their electrical charge. They have uh, an electrical charge that should allow them to repel one another. And what happens is a lack of hydration and acidity of the pH causes them to lose their electrical charge and they begin to stick together. And that's, that's dangerous because it allows us not to carry as much In oxygen. In effect, if the entire, yeah. uh, entire body were like that, you'd be loaded with cancer. Yes. You could be loaded with cancer, but mostly people would uh, be complaining of fatigue and lack of energy and lack of motivation. And the problem is that over time, this situation leads to degenerative disease. Diabetes and, and cancer. Of course. And, and, and their, you know, their after effects, their long-term effects from lack of hydration. So what are we actually seeing in his blood there? Let's have a look at that blood one more time. What we're actually we seeing... We don't see one single blood cell mm -hmm. actually on its own. On its own. own. None of them are on They're their own. They're all connected like sticky. Yes. They're all okay. sticky. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a development of fibrin in the middle there. You can see that. And that fibrin, you know, uh, takes up all the space in the, you know, in the plasma field. Okay. Now, we've taken his blood. We've seen it. It's not a very good p uh, picture at mm -hmm. all. Let's give him a glass of this energized water. Josh, if you'll drink that down. Bon appetit. And we hopefully will see a miraculous change in a few minutes' time. Just by drinking that water, it will influence all the water in his body. And then we'll take his blood yeah. again, right? Yes. Blood looks good. Blood Whoa, looks good. my goodness. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Wow. That is phenomenal. Dr. La Perla. That was impressive, definitely. That's what I'm talking about. I <laughs> believe you, folks. You can change your water at home. You can do this yourself. 